mind is blown. I know this was coming, but actually when you when you read it first thing in the morning or you see it on, on X, you kind of think, wow, it's really happening. So, I mean, is this good or bad? Well, I mean, I, I, hopefully it's, it's a good <laughs> a good development. And obviously uh, Elon Musk has always said he wants to uh, develop these kind of technologies in a, uh, a kind of safe and responsible way yeah. for humankind. So hopefully he's going to be true to that. I mean, it's, it's you know, very early stage and there's a huge amount of trials uh, and an evaluation to kind of uh, go to take place before we're kind of anywhere for this to kind of being a mainstream development. But yeah, you know, the, the kind of, I guess the thing that's exciting for me is that kind of obviously it's helpful for people from a health perspective yes. but, but yeah. you know the the potential to extend these kind of technologies yeah. into mainstream kind of consumer electronics here the evolution of the smartphone yeah. is something we talk yeah. about all the time and whether these kind of technologies can be adapted uh, to kind of you know evolve that kind of technology yeah. would be quite something but can it and I'm, I'm kind of with you right it's immensely exciting and a massive opportunity for people that need to communicate that haven't been able so yeah. far mm-hmm. I guess who regulates it if then becomes you know a consumer good like you buy exactly your yeah I mean it's it kind of because it blurs both the health side and the technology side yeah there could be lots of different agencies involved in, in how this stuff evolves so I think it's an incredibly complex field yeah. um, it's going to take quite some years I think before we kind of see this uh, you yeah, know beyond kind of these these kind of hopefully positive trials. Snap your W-2 and file your taxes. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Knowing in this gospel, broad lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is another lesson through the Spirit. Um, it says Elon Musk reveals first human has received brain implants from Neuralink. This is and is recovering well as billionaire says he had a promising neuron spike. Okay, as we know, Neuralink is basically um <coughs> basically um we know oh shit, Slokia. Uh damn. We know that uh, Neuralink is basically the brain chip that this guy Elon Musk all right, it's up. Uh, it's lucky. Shit. But we basically know that uh, Elon Musk um, basically is the, the what he called the progenitor or the founder of uh, Neuralink. You got Tesla, you know, you got X, you got all these particular uh, forms of advancement in technology. And you got these devils that's at the forefront, you know, such as Kill Gates. This guy, Elon Musk, you know, you got other particular representatives of the WEF that speaks of a digital future where humanity will come under one guysmanship. This lets us know that we're clearly at the end and that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is getting ready to make an imminent return. Okay, this lets us know that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is getting ready to, to, to destroy this present setup and deliver his hopeful elect. Okay, with all the tensions going on in the Middle East. Basically, America is getting ready to go to war with Iran. You got uh, uh, the whole border <clears throat> crisis situation out of hand. You got Arizona, you got California and the borders being sabotaged. And yet you got the American military getting ready to be shipped out. So it's safe to say that things are going to start happening. Domino effect. OK, because once the American military is shipped out of here, then you better believe that those uh, splinter cells or those sleeper cells are going to be activated and they can enforce this, what they call this, this Neuralink, which is the brain chip. Okay, he said that um, basically it gave the guy a promising neuron spike, meaning that they upped the levels of his IQ, meaning that he's basically uh, uh, functioning to some form of normalcy. Okay, and these those miracles that these devils are promoting on the left-hand side, man. All right, so hey, call Allah, you have a shimmy, have a shy. Prophecy is moving at an accelerated pace. Um, 2024 may be the Lord's will to kick off Jacob's trouble because the minute that those sleeper cells are activated, that's when Jacob's trouble pretty much, it's pretty much official at that point because we know economic collapse, famine, all these things are soon to follow, <clears throat> which those have to happen simultaneously as well because Jacob's trouble is not going to be a 10 year drawn out ordeal, Lord's will, you know, because it's going to be pretty bad. It wouldn't be, nobody wouldn't be left, so to speak. But anyway, um, I played this video just to, you know, give you some insight as to what the hell is going on.
you know, and that the Lord is really making moves. And we're really getting ready to get our salvation, man, you know, and that's evident because you see a, a vast mass of these false prophets bugging out. You know, this guy, Alazar, talking about some uh, the, 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 the gospels of Paul or the Pauline epistles, as they call them, as the Christians call them. Um, they don't have any authoritative aspect of the scriptures, but yet he uses them to promote his own ill dealings. And then you got this guy, Nate, talking about hell. You you camps, man, you you splinter groups, you're getting ready to fall, man. Okay, the Lord's getting ready to do a, a major dispersion of these other groups, man. And hey, when Passover comes up, hey, man, that's going to reveal a lot, a lot of wickedness going on in these other groups, man. So we just pray like hell that, you know, we keep our shit wrapped tight and continue to do the right thing. But the Lord is going to start killing a lot of these Israelites around or after Passover, man. Okay, and I can kind of see that happening. So um, we got to stay focused and continue to do what we got to do. Because you don't want to get caught up in the judgment. And then, you know, brothers pass away just from natural causes, being sick. I mean, you know, it's a two-way street at the end of the day, you know. But regardless of it, you know, men are doing wickedness. And yet this prophecy is speaking. And yet men are not speaking on this prophecy. But the men are the great millstone. Which shows you that we are indeed the prophets of the Lord. So I got a couple of precepts, nothing too long. This is the book of um, Psalms 37. And I'm going to start at verses... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's start at verses 7. Matter of fact, let's start at verses 5 because this thing is, is going to get tough. It says, commit thy ways unto Yahweh. Trust also in him and he should bring it to pass. And we trust in the Lord to bring the prophecies to pass. We're seeing them. Okay, this thing is getting ready to kick off. All right, the nations are on edge. China is on edge. Russia, basically, they just align themselves with another African ally, which fulfills a portion of Ezekiel 38. So, hey, the things are really moving according to schedule, man. According to prophecy, I say it that way. And it says that he should bring forth uh, thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. But rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not themselves because of him who prospered in his way, because of the men who bring it wicked devices to pass. Okay, so this is nothing more but a wicked device. Okay, because um, let's go back to here. Neuralink. You are Neuralink implant. All right, Elon Musk says the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well, which he went to uh, X, which was formerly Twitter, which he's, I think he bought it for like 40 billion, if I'm not mistaken. And X is going to be uh, the chips in the hand, man, okay? Because we know that this all go hand in hand. This prophecy goes hand in hand with Revelation 13 and 16. All right, so it says, what does Neuralink brain implant do? It says Neuralink states that the initial goal of the BCI, uh, which I believe stands for brain chip implant, will be to grant people the ability to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts alone. And I remember I seen a video a couple years ago when a guy basically, uh, he almost like, I think it was like he was able to go on a computer online in his mind and order a pizza and yet it could pop up at your crib. So yeah, this is all part of those left hand miracles. Okay. With disease, it says, Musk has granted ambitions of Neuralink, saying it will facilitate speedy surgical insertions of his chip devices to treat conditions like obesity. Obesity is in the mind, huh? Autism, depression, and schizophrenia. Okay, and when people see that these miracles are actually operating and working on some some, some, some vote of a mean, then people are going to run down there to get it because, hey, believe it or not, majority of the population in America is sick, okay? And most of the people here are should be clinically depressed. They're clinically depressed. They should be diagnosed with depression, which depression is nothing more but a, a demon fucking with your mind, man. But they have something which is called clinically uh, depressed, which means that, you know, you go see a specialist for your issues, man. And I'm going to tell you straightforward, 95.5% of you people in America need to be on some type of psych meds. And the majority of you are, especially you women. All right. But anyway, it says here, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not themself, thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of the men who bring the wicked devices to pass. And so we just proved that that's a, a device by Satan, okay? 2 Corinthians 11. And I'm going to start at verses 2 and 11. Okay, it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we're not ignorant of his devices. That's a device of Satan, this chip, because if you take that MOTB, okay, you're going to be destroyed. All right? 
Revelation 13 and 11, it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Okay, this current system, this current administration, you have what they call the plebeians and the patricians, and you got the Democrats and the Republicans. Okay, but this beast that it saw is with the revival of the Roman Empire. It says, And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, which is Rome. It says, whose deadly wound was healed, and he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven and the earth in the sight of men. The Bosnia bombings, then you had the atom bomb, then you got these nukes, okay? Then you got those, uh, what they call uh, direct energy, uh, D, what they call DEWs, which is called direct energy weapons. Okay, they showed you that in Maui with those fires last year, all right? But it says here, and he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Okay, when you look up miracles, miracle goes into the Greek word Simeon, Simeon. Strong's G, 4592, Semion, Semion, which means a sign, a mark, a token. Uh, yep, it says. That by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others and is known, a sign, a prodigy, a prodigy, which this is a sign, important, an unusual occurrence, transcending the current course of nature. Hey, if you got, if you're a paraplegic and your spine is shattered, ain't no way in hell you walking, but yet you put a damn neural link in somebody's mind and all of a sudden they become whole again. They showed you that in that movie Upgrade, but it says here. A signs of pretending or pretending remarkable events soon to happen. And we know that eventually they're going to roll this thing out mandated of miracles and wonders by which it how authenticates the men sitting by him, which is miracles on the right hand side, which we will be doing here shortly. It says, oh, by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is Yahweh's. OK, but these miracles that people are going to be deceived by, which is going to entice them to accept this MOTB. All right. Um. And it says here, means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. The image is this whole system is set up. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay, because eventually you're going to have to bow down and take that MOTB. And kill being ostracized, man, not being able to navigate in society. And sooner than later, they're going to pass legislation. Basically, being able to put you to death if you don't comply with this man's NWO. Because once they suspend the Constitution from some type of emergency declaration here in America, then they can do what the hell they want to do. Okay, which is why me personally, I don't really see an election. But who knows? They may skip one off. But regardless of it, this thing is at its end. And we got a solar eclipse coming up. So I believe civil war going to break off real soon. It's hopefully by the spring or summertime. But it says here, he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the M-A-R-K in their right hands or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save either head the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, okay? Now, you could say, well, what does this have to do with buying and selling? Well, I mean, technically, if you can go online with a thought and you can make a purchase, basically, you can buy something with your mind, man. Okay, and on top of that, they're going to make it mandatory. And they're not going to say, well, you got to get the chip in your head in order to, to, to buy something. I mean, you can just get it in your arm, your left arm, your right arm, whatever. But most people that's going to get this Neuralink in their mind is people that's suffering from, like, dementia and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Which is part of the miracles. And that's where the brain scan comes into play at. But regardless of it, these things are going to be made mandatory. But I'm going to end it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? Lord, will you edify it to the next lesson? Shalom.